the detail, the effort. My fingers are literally falling off. There's hot glue under my nails. This couch is perfect. Oh. This is actually turning out better than I expected. Hello guys, welcome back to Building the Lover House Day. I don't even remember how many days we're on now, but it's been like, I think two weeks since the day I started creating this, and it has been a long journey, it feels like, because I feel like at the beginning, I was like progressing really quickly, and then I ran into some things that just are taking so long. Mainly just this situation with the roof. I have probably spent like 10 plus hours bejeweling this roof by hand. It's literally taken me so long and I've been spending all morning doing the other side of the roof and this is how far I've gotten so far. Almost halfway, which is good, but still quite a bit to go. But I am thoroughly impressed with how this is turning out. And so I decided I'm gonna take a break from this right now and show you guys the little furniture and stuff that came in in the past like few days. Okay, so the first thing I went about looking for is a fishbowl because in the 1989 room, there's like this giant fishbowl that Taylor and her guy are swimming in and it has a little ladder. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use this ladder for the fishbowl or for like the attic, but I think I'm gonna use this for the fishbowl because I think it's a good height. I got all of this stuff from Amazon and so this came in a pack of three um, and it's just it was like the perfect size everything I was finding was too big and then I have this little ladder that's gonna go on the side and it's a pretty good height and so I'm gonna put that inside the 1989 room and then I found the perfect couch for the red room and I feel like a lot of my furniture is just a little too big for scale of this house but like I'm not gonna find custom furniture or like you know it's just gonna be difficult and so this couch is perfect <laughs> oops this couch is so perfect. It gives off all of the vibes of that room in the video and it came with these little chairs that'll go on either side. And so don't ask me how much I paid for this because it was too much, but I couldn't pass it up. It was literally the perfect color and the perfect vibe. Um, so that's going in the red room. And then the last thing I need to find is like a couch and like a little lamp, which I'm gonna go back to Hobby Lobby and see if they have anything there. But I have to paint all the furniture, the colors of each room that they're gonna go in. So first, I know for sure I'm gonna paint the dining room table because I know for sure that's going in the Speak Now room. This table that has the chairs around it. I think I'm gonna paint them like purpley blue color. And a lot of people were so upset about the Speak Now room being like more blue than purple. And genuinely, I don't know why Taylor decided to go that way, but it wasn't me making that creative choice. I was just trying to copy the music video color exactly. But it is interesting how she didn't make that room completely purple and it's kind of blue-ish. And so once I paint all the furniture and do all that, the last thing for me is kind of decorating the rooms and seeing if I can add more detail like 
whether it's painting windows, finding fabric to create little curtains. And so I think there's gonna be one more part to this where I'm gonna be figuring all of that out. But the main stage of this whole thing was to finish bejeweling the roof and finding all the furniture. And I think I'm going to finish painting the outside of the house. So this, the sides and the little dividers I will be painting that white, so I think in the morning I'm gonna start painting the furniture and the outside of the house, just because I feel like once I'm on one part of it, I have to keep with it, so I'm going to finish like jeweling it tonight, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna get in with the paint. And that's kind of why these videos have been posted a little sporadic, is because I can't post the video until I have the part of the house done that I wanna include in the video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for me for the decorating process, like things I should add to each room, just anything you think I should add to this project, please comment down below because I'm kind of stumped on what else I can add to it to make it even more like Taylor Swift, you know what I mean? So for the first side of the house that I did here, I just dumped out all of the different colored jewels and like one by one would pick them out. And so I decided for this side to make it go a little bit faster I would separate them by color. That way, if I'm looking for a specific color, I don't have to like look through and pick the right size and everything. So I do think that is helping me go a little bit faster on this side. All right, guys, it's the next day and the first order of business is to power through and finish the roof. I feel like I just have to get it done before I move on to anything else. And then I'll think about painting all the furniture. All right, it's been two hours and this is how much I've gotten done. I have like one third left to go and I just need to power through. My fingers are literally falling off. There's hot glue under my nails and all over the floor. I'm just ready to be done bejeweling so I can move on to the next thing. I'm gonna go as fast as I can for the next hour and I will see you then. <laughs> I'm so close. <sighs> Maybe like 45 more minutes. It is officially done. Wow. The never ending roof is now completely bejeweled and it only took me about, it had to be like 18 hours minimum. I've been working on this for, let's see, it's two o'clock, five hours just today, but was it worth it? I think so. Y'all can tell me if it was worth it. It's looking really good. The detail, the effort. You know what I haven't done anything about yet? This chimney. I think I'm going to bejewel the chimney. I'm not sure which color. I'm thinking pink, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. guys it has been a very very long day and as you can see i finished bejeweling the entire roof finally and then what i decided to do was kind of put in all the furniture that i have to see like what else i have to get but honestly like i have like a good bit here i only need like little decorative pieces i need a couch for this room and just like little board game stuff for the game room and then i want to figure out how i'm going to do this attic i don't know exactly how yet 
But my next step is that I'm gonna paint the dividers in the outside of the house, and then I'm gonna go paint the little pieces of furniture that are not painted yet. I'm gonna keep the bed white, I decided, just because it's already so pink in this room. But now that I've decided which pieces of furniture are going where, I'm going to paint them to match the room that they're in. This is actually turning out better than I expected. All right guys, this is gonna be the end of part three. I think I'm gonna do one more part to this and kind of do the little finishing touches and then I'm gonna call it because it's looking actually so good. As you guys can see, it's pretty much all done except for like the little details, which I'm gonna be trying to figure out this coming week. I still need a few little pieces to finish it up and also decide if I'm going to add windows or curtains and other stuff like that or if I should just keep it simple, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how detailed I should go. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming along for the journey. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. What first started as an impulse purchase at the thrift store became two weeks of me dedicating to building the lover house. If you guys ever want to attempt a project like this, I say just go for it because I am no DIY girl and I ended up doing a pretty good job. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.